Hi, Jerry Capote here of Sunshine Decals. And in my previous video, I showed you the four steps that I take to create a wall decal. What I want to do here is to take each of those steps and uh, kind of break them down for you. So in this video, I'm going to take step number one, which is to design the decal. And so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to start with step number one. And we do that on the computer. Now, if you watch my previous video, uh, you might have noticed that uh, I did it rather quickly, and that's because I already have my templates for each of the designs in my Etsy store. Okay, so let's take, for instance, I let's take this uh, Jacob decal with the helicopter. Okay, um, and the customer says, "Well, I, I like that decal, but with the name Andrew." So that's that's what I have to do. I have to design the decal to reflect the name Andrew. So I'm going to go into my Etsy folder right here, which I created on my desktop. I have a few categories here, but one of them is decal templates by name. That's where I would find that decal because uh, I named each of my files based on the name that you see in the picture uh, in the store. So, so when I get a, a request, I say, okay, so that's the Jacob uh, uh, decal. That's the Jacob design. So I'm going to type in J, jumps down to, to, the, to the J's in my list, and there it is, Jacob. So I'm going to open it up, and uh, there you go. I open up my, uh, my design, my template. And I, I use Adobe Illustrator. It's my, it's my tool of choice for designing my, my decals. Now, these, uh, this, is, this is a font. And although this may look like a graphic, this is actually also a font from a collection of fonts. So it, it makes it easier to work with. You're going to see how easy it is to create the outline. So uh, first of all, I need to change the name. So let's start there. Let's not go ahead of ourselves. So they want Andrew. So I typed in Andrew. Of course, I have to make the appropriate adjustments because it's going to fall off the page and it's going to be, it's not going to look too good. So, I have to keep it within the margins. I already know that my decal is going to be 22 inches wide, and that's the margins that I have here. Looks pretty, pretty centered, and that's it. It's that easy, really. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to pull up my Cut Studio plugin, which works with my rolling cutter. It came with the rolling cutter, and ever since I've used it, quite frankly, uh, it works just fine. So, that's what I use. So I'm going to go to my Windows uh, menu option, go down to Cut Studio plugin. Gonna pull it up and I want to show you how easy it is to create outlines for these fonts. So let's start with this one up here and create outline. And there it is, you see it right on the, uh, the screen there. And Andrew as well, I need to create the outlines so that the cutter recognizes the outlines. And there it is. Now all I have to do is open up my Rolling Cut Studio plugin and just click on this little button right here. Bing, and it's open. There it is. Now I don't know if you can see it, but the design is there. And basically, we're, we're ready to send to the cutter, but now we have to go to step number two, which is to load the final cutter and send the design to cut. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. Uh, for more of my instructional videos, visit my blog at walldecalbusiness.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.